So what is the real world range of the Vogia 3? My name is Bastian and welcome to Recharging. Yes, I am standing in the shade because at the moment it is freaking hot. But anyway, a range test with the Vogia 3, the European version of the Vogia 3. So that means a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack and a WLTP range of 500 kilometers. Do I think it can reach that? Yes, I think it can. Because also according to Voja that 500 kilometers is a bit conservative, but they want to communicate a number that everyone can always reach. But the way I am driving this car in the conditions that I am driving it, it is summer at the moment, I can easily go over 500 kilometers. So I am really curious what it can really do. So how do I do the test? I do one test at 100 kilometers per hour. And in that test, I calculate how much energy I can get out of the battery. Then I do one test at 90 kilometers per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions. And based on that consumption and the battery capacity, you know how much kilometers you can drive. And I will do the same at 130 kilometers per hour. Besides that, the conditions, I have to be, I have to be honest. Yes, honest was the word I was looking for. <laughs> but anyway, I did the 100 kilometers per hour test on a different day than the 90 and 130 kilometers per hour test. During my 100 kilometers per hour test, it was around 20 degrees Celsius and there was some wind. The wind was average. And during my 90 and 130 kilometers per hour test, well, I am doing that tonight. Then it will be around 23 degrees Celsius and there will be less wind, barely any wind. So you know that. Anyway, let's go to the test then. It is almost Friday afternoon, so that means it can be pretty busy on the road. Not right now, but some other parts, yes it was. But luckily for me, the speed limit in the Netherlands is 100 km per hour. So that means I can keep a steady speed of 100 km per hour for this test. I wanted to go to Germany, but there is, oh damn, there is a traffic jam. Speaking about it, there is a traffic jam for some reason. Anyway, I wanted to go to Germany, but on a Friday there is always a traffic jam if you want to go to Germany, so I didn't do that, so I am driving to the west of the Netherlands. Hopefully this traffic jam isn't too bad, it's not that busy on the road here. Damn it. But yeah, that was the story. All about how my life got twisted up... No, 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 no. I'm not going to sing, I'm not going to sing. Anyway. When the car had used 10% state of charge, I had driven around 45 kilometers. So the range, it seems like right now, while driving 100 kilometers per hour, is 450 kilometers, which is a pretty good result because it is quite windy at this moment. Why is there a freaking traffic jam? Why is there a freaking traffic jam? Anyway, as I was saying, a range of 450 kilometers while driving 100 kilometers per hour, which is a pretty good result because the conditions aren't optimal. And that gives me a very good feeling about the 90 kilometers per hour consumption run. That means that yes, this car can do, or at least I predict that this car can do more than its WLTP range of 500 kilometers. The people of Voya, did tell me that that 500 kilometers was a bit conservative but they wanted to give a number that people can reach all the time so yeah i'm really curious really curious the car has used 25 percent state of charge now and on that 25 percent i have driven 115 to 120 kilometers so the range it seems like right now is around 475 kilometers while driving 100 kilometers per hour. And that is really, really good. Because also, I have just turned around and I have tailwind now where I had headwind first. So that 475 kilometers will get even better. This sounds really promising for the 90 kilometers per hour test. I do really think that we can go over that 500 kilometers of WLTP range. But again, that was a bit conservative for Voya, but it is really good. It is really good. Okay, this car has a big battery, so that helps, but it has good range. It has good range. Terrible fast charging, see my review for that, but really good range. I will keep on driving. As you can see, it is pretty busy on the road. I don't use cruise control a lot because it's too busy for that. Cars go in front of you, the car brakes, and it's really, really annoying, so I don't use it. But... I can keep my speed at around 100 kilometers per hour. I will 
it's not too busy, luckily. I will keep on going, then you will see my 90 km per hour consumption test and my 130 km per hour consumption test, and then the result. I am currently doing my 90 km per hour test. I have just turned around and the consumption is hovering between 18 and 19 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers which is not a bad result it's a little bit more than i expected during the 90 test because i had around 20 kilowatt hours during my 100 kilometers per hour test and i have seen some low numbers in this car when driving on mixed roads but those were mixed roads so maybe that's the difference then let's reset this i'm driving too fast sorry car that's not fair for the test um yeah so somewhere between 18 and 19 more close to 19 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers but that would mean a range of more than 500 kilometers so more than voya is claiming voja voya i'm using those i don't know i am mixing those up all the time how do you pronounce it i don't know anyway somewhere between that and that means more than 500 kilometers of range so more than Voya is claiming the WLTP range is so that is really good although I have to say it is currently summer it is evening but it is still 25 degrees Celsius at the moment so the conditions are really good for this car the air conditioning doesn't have to go too hard it's still warm outside for the battery again the conditions are really really good but yeah, that was it. I'm going to do my 130 km per hour run after this and then it's time for the result. Okay, so now I am doing my 130 km per hour test. I've just turned around again and the consumption seems pretty good. It is, well, I am accelerating at the moment, but when I decelerated, yeah, that is a word, it got to 26.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and that is really good. And I also found out, for some reason I didn't knew this, is that on my, the other way there is a positive elevation and going this way there is a negative elevation. So that means the consumption this way will get better than going the other way. Also depending on the wind of course, but yeah, that is really the case. And also this car is super quiet, super comfortable yeah it is an amazing cruiser it just sucks that the charging speed the fast charging speed is so terrible get out of my way man yeah again it just sucks that the fast charging speed is so terrible otherwise it would be an excellent cruiser for the longer distances what is terrible well from 10 to 80 percent will take you 55 minutes yeah that's pretty terrible that is pretty terrible and if you want to know more well watch my review do that do really do that but again really comfortable car air suspension as standard quiet it's amazing it is a really comfy car to drive really anyway i will keep on hammering 133 kilometers per hour manually because as with most chinese cars i cannot set the cruise control above 130 kilometers per hour really ch chinese cars really china why is this the case i don't get it i really don't get it probably the speed limit in china is less than 130 kilometers per hour so there's no need for it it's so weird it's so weird you're on the european market come on you can do it i can understand sort of if the auto steer is not working above those speeds but a normal cruise control come on Alrighty, then the result of the range test. Let me first start with the 100 km per hour test. And as I have said before, I did the 100 km per hour test on a different day than today. And during that test, it was around 21 degrees Celsius and it was a bit windy. I also drove from 77% state of charge to 37%. So that means I've used 40%. On that 40% I have driven 200 kilometers, so the range while driving 100 kilometers per hour in those conditions is 500 kilometers. That is the WLTP range that Voya claims this car can do. So during my 90 test I will, I will get more than that. I know I will because I have the result here, but anyway, 
this is really hopeful. This is really hopeful. The average consumption was 19.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that also means that I could get 99.2 kilowatt hours out of the battery, which makes sense because according to Voya, it has a 100 kilowatt. Blah, blah, blah. According to Voya, blah, blah, blah. according to Voya, it has a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. So having some heat loss and stuff, 99.2 kilowatt hours is a good is a good result is a good result so during the 90 and 130 kilometers per hour test the conditions were perfect because it is at the moment 2237 so that means half past 10 in the evening and it is still 25 degrees celsius and there is no wind yes it is insanely hot now insanely hot but anyway the result of the 90 kilometers per hour test Keep in mind, during my 100 kilometers per hour test in worse conditions, I already got the WLTP range. During my 90 test, I got an average consumption of 17.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that means a range of 567 kilometers. That is really good. That is really good. And also a really good consumption because this car is 5 meters, weighs 2.5 tons. Yeah. It's a heavy beast and a big beast. And all-wheel drive, 4.4 uh, seconds from 0 to 100. So again, 17.5 kilowatt hours is a good result. But also again, it is summer. In every other condition, spring, fall, winter, you will get a worse result than this. Then the result of the 130 kilometers per hour test. I got an average consumption there of 26.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that means a range of 374 kilometers. Again, also really good. It is not that... No, the car is not a thirsty beast when driving with higher speeds. Again, it's just a really good result. It's a shame that the fast charging of this car is so crap. Otherwise, it would be a really good car for the longer distance. And that was the end of the range test. Thank you a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, to be continued.